Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to The Real Legend of Gaming. So what we have here is a follow-up to our orb summoning video from last week in which we were able to get Summer Tiki along with Faye. Now, I also had an arm that I didn't work on. So what I did was combine a focus on all three heroes and got them all up to level 40. Now, with the builds that I'm going to introduce along with the inherent skill options, I'm going to focus on what their boon advantages are and I'll show you and explain to you everything that I have. Now I uh, just want to be straightforward. I received tips from uh, Phoenix Master 1 on what build sets to use and I also use the same skill inheritance tool that he suggested in his video. So uh, shout out to the creator of that. I'll drop the link in the description so that you guys can reference it also because it's an amazing tool. All right, so we have arm up on the screen. We have a plus attack minus resistance build. So what we wanted to use is skills that will complement the Falcon. Uh, so we're gonna use pivot, which will allow arm to move freely across the field and you know get massive damage done. We'll keep Draconic Aura on. We're gonna add Fury 3, which we're able to get from Hanada. At the moment, I didn't have a B skill. I uh, was unable to uh, get Sword Breaker, so we'll leave that empty. And then I had Threatened Defense, which at the time I thought was a good setup. But then when realizing he was a plus attack, I decided to change it with the recommendation that's on the next screen. So instead of the Threatened Defense, we decided to swap that out for Threatened Speed. Now, I don't have any of the heroes there to inherit. So those are going to be items that I'm going to focus on during my next summoning, along with adding Sword Breaker since the rest I was fortunate to have to be able to inherit the first time around. So if Swordbreaker should allow me to one round KO most sword units, and since I'm gonna be losing HP with Fury, the Falcon will be able to replenish some of that HP every three turns. So ideally those skills will complement each other very well. Now next up is Fey. So my Fey has a plus speed minus defense IV. And essentially what I want to do is make Faye a passive healer. So we added reciprocal aid for that. As far as everything else, I was a little limited with the skills I had that I can inherit. Uh, so we have noontime for the time being. Uh, we have life and death one only and poison strike one only as well. So essentially what I want to do is add a C skill, which would be a uh, savage blow. And I want to be able to get poison strike three along with life and death three. So the Luna will help her with damage. Reason why I'm adding life and death because it will boost attack and speed to increase Faye's chances of getting a double attack. Poison Strike will allow me to weaken enemies so that Arm um, can be able to finish them off or Summer Tiki, while Savage Blow would do more passive damage. Now next up is Summer Tiki, uh, which is one of the fairly new Axe units. So uh, Summer Tiki, as far as Axe units, uh, she has the second lowest HP and the second highest attack. So those are some things that I've kept in mind when finding the right build for her. Now I also wanted to add that her boon is attack and her bane is resistance. So even more reason to go for an attack build. So we'll show you right now uh, what I have is reposition. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we took Bonfire from Robin since I had a four star Robin that I wasn't using and we added threat and attack so that we can lower the enemy attack and essentially activate the A skill which will be Heavy Blade. Now what I also want to add is Renewal so that we can replenish some of Tiki's HP since it's so low. So you figure at the start of every second turn we'll restore 10 HP and the Heavy Blade will complement the plus attack. So essentially this Tiki is going to be destroying a lot of opponents and the idea is for her to be running around the arena just destroying everything that Faye weakens or whatever arm couldn't finish off. So I think the three complement each other real well. I'm in the process of trying to figure out who my fourth hero would be. I'm thinking about adding Robin since I already have him maxed out and he's a high damage blue unit. So, you know, I'll let you guys know in the next video if I decided to do that. Um, as far as plans for the next Fire Emblem video, it's going to be a summoning. I decided to skip this banner, which will allow me the time to build up SP to show my team all the skills. 
and also gives me time to get more orbs so folks i hope you like this video um definitely be sure to check out phoenix master one i think as far as fire emblem videos he is the best in the industry and his tips kind of set the standard for what's going on i mean that's just my honest opinion uh, be sure to check out the link in the description for the calculator and if you do like these tips definitely like and subscribe um, what I'm planning to do, like I said in my last um, summoning video, is I want to do one Fire Emblem video a week, which allow me time during the week to focus on building the team and build up orbs, along with uh, doing a summoning video to follow up with that. So the idea will be summoning video, new troops, second video will be what skills we're showing them. And I hope that works for you. Drop a comment down below, tell me if that format is cool for you guys, and again, Hit that subscribe button for future updates, all right? So I really appreciate the support. Peace out.